G'day everyone, welcome to another photographic tutorial for PAL Media. Uh, I've got a very cool one today, it's to do with shooting glass with a speed light. So if any of you have ever shot glass before, you can actually, you'll actually know that it is quite difficult, mainly because you know, it's a transparent object and the light spills through and you can, actually, you can have quite a lot of problems. This is a very, very simple setup um, and I'll run you through exactly how to do it because a lot of you guys will probably have the same equipment in your home. Um, what you might actually hear is I've got better audio. Now, I'm happy to say that I've finally purchased some wireless lavalier microphones. Big, big difference in, in audio quality. Um, these, these are just sent, this is the transmitter sent to a receiver that goes directly in, into an XLR input in my camera and I'm really happy with the quality of audio so far. It is much better than using um, the onboard microphone or even a shotgun mic. It really does make the difference. I figure if you've got good video, you might as well have good audio. Um, anyway, what I've got set up today is a Nikon D300, it's an APS-C DX camera, a 24-70mm 2.8 lens, a SB600 directly behind the glass, and I've got some bit of ice cubes in it to give it, you know, a little bit of, little bit of dimension, a little bit something different. Also a, a white board underneath it. Now this has, got, this has got some sort of reflection or some sort of gloss. I bought it from a hardware store for, you know, 25 bucks. And it really does make the difference because it gives you a, a subtle reflection directly underneath the subject. So I'll run through the camera settings. And the photo this is actually referring to was a photograph of a Corona bottle that I put up a couple of weeks ago. And um, people were asking, you know, how I did that. And it looked really difficult. But it's actually quite simple. And the lighting technique is as basic as it comes. There's a speed light with no diffusing dome directly behind it on you know, 164th power. So it is very, very simple. The trick is done in the camera. What you'll see is there's a lot of ambient light. So I've got, I've got a thousand watt light directly behind me to light up the room so the camera can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, what you need to make sure that you do is you need to set your camera up correctly so you're not going to introduce any of this ambient light. You need to make sure that it's only focusing on the flash and the subject behind it because that's the only thing that's going to be seen and it's the only thing that you want. Now to do that, what I've done is I've set my camera on one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed at f10 and ISO 200. Now that's actually pretty dramatic. You'd think, okay, one, that's the maximum shutter speed for this camera and at f10, you'd be thinking your photo is going to be pitch black. But Nikon have a system called CLS and what that stands for is the creative lighting system. Now, there is a rule when you come to, well, uh, there, there is a kind of a rule to abide by with flashes and you need to know what your camera's sync speed is when it comes to flashes. Most Canon and Nikon are, re are really 1 200, 1 250th of a second and you need, to abide by the, you need to abide by those rules otherwise you're going to get a black bar directly across the middle or you might have a pitch black image even if you're using a flash. Now, with Nikon CLS system, they are able to sync all the way up to one eight thousandth of a second, which is awesome. The only downside about this system is that the flash, the pop-up flash, doesn't work very well in direct sunlight. Obviously, that's not a problem here, but the reason for that is it's not it's not radio waves. There's systems called Pocket Wizards or Radio Poppers or even some cheaper systems you can buy on eBay, and they all run on radio signals. Um, they are reliable up to 100, 200, 600 meters, depending on what brand you go with. The problem with this is it's more or less like an infrared single. The flash is bursting out uh, information to the speed light. The speed light needs to see the flash to know exactly what the camera is telling it to do. If you're out in bright daylight, then the sun's overpowering. The flash doesn't the flash doesn't rec doesn't make it to the speed light, and you don't get you don't you get a misfire. So it basically, you get no results. In this situation, it's fine. I've got a lot of walls to bounce it off. In this case, uh, the flash is directed straight at the speed light, so I'm not going to have a problem at all. Again, one eight thousand of a second at f10 is going to give me a pretty cool image because this flash is able to sync up to that speed. And what you see is obviously the background is white, the board is white, but the final image, everything's going to be black except for the except for the um, the subject, the glass with the ice cubes in it. And that's because I'm that's because I'm shooting at those speeds. It's actually really cool. You're able to completely change. You're able to completely change the um, the scene that you're in. You're able to turn it from from pure white to pitch black. So that's pretty awesome. Um, 
Anyway, look, what I'll do is I'll take a quick photograph with a flash down so the, 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 the SP600 is not going to have any effect because it, the commander is not giving it any information, and I'll take a photograph. Now, what you see straight away, I'll put it up on the screen, it's black. Now, that is, that is the image that's just gotten taken. I'll pop the flash up, and I'll take another photograph. Now, the flash behind it will fire. So, this is 1 8,000th of a second F10. The SB600 is on 1 64th power. This is the result. So straight away, you can see that is really cool. This is, this is a raw image. I have not touched this at all. That's directly what's coming out of the camera. Now, I'm purposely shooting in raw because when I bring this, when I bring this image into Lightroom or Aperture or Photoshop or Camera Raw, whatever program you use, I've got complete control of you know, the exposure, uh, the color temperature, and a, and, a, and a lot more a lot more detail than if I was to shoot in JPEG. So I'm specifically shooting in RAW, so I've got all that detail. I could go ahead and change it in the camera, but I want to be able to I want to be able to view it on a nice detailed monitor to get different photographs. So anyway, I'll take a couple more photos. I'll change my focal length. So this is shot at 70 millimeters. This is out wide. This is at 24 millimeters. And as you can see, you know, it's more or less the same Im image, but it's just, you know, the field of view is just a little bit different. Um, yeah, so you guys can do this. I'm not sure what Canon ha Canon does have some sort of system like this with, um, with kind of like CLS. I'm not sure exactly what it is because I'm, obviously a lot of my gear is Nikon, so I'm not totally sure what Canon does. Um, even if you won't, even if Canon, even if you won't, going to do it like this, you can do it another way, which is shooting with the SB900 on the top as the commander and SB600, 700, 800, any of them behind it as the slave, so master slave situation with flash. So anyway, um, I hope this helps. It's, again, it, it is a very, very simple setup. A lot of you guys have this equipment, you know, a basic camera and a speed light, you know. So give it a go. Try, try it with these settings and see if it works for you. If not, you know, just play around with it. But anyway, I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, just give me a shout. So you can either leave a comment below or send me an email or, you know, just check me out on Facebook. So my email address is phil.leggetti at powermedia.com.au or just leave a comment down below. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. If you have any, any uh, requests or any questions, just let me know and I'll try and help you out as much as I can. All right, thanks, guys.